This morning on Daybreak, Dick Wolfsey is taking us inside a business in Indianapolis called Fancy Fortune Cookies. And he's taking us behind the scenes to show us just how the cookies get made and how the fortunes get inside. Good morning, everybody. We are at a place called Fancy Fortune Cookies right here in Indianapolis off of Binford Boulevard. And I have three of the fortune cookies. And Erin uh, Jump, she has a large fortune cookie. Now, we see fortune cookies all the time when we go to, obviously, Chinese restaurants. But these are unique for those just joining us. Why are they unique? We make ours in flavors and colors, and right. then we also customize the insides with personalized messages for our clients. And who would a typical client be? Oh, anybody from a bride yeah. to somebody announcing their pregnancy to Eli Lilly. Okay, I hope that you don't find out you're pregnant for the first time when you open one of these, because that would be the kind of fortune <laughs> I don't think anybody would want to have. I can't no, no. tell the future. You there. can't tell the future, that's right. Let's watch Ryan as we begin the process. What's he doing here? Um, Ryan is putting in the flour and sugar and eggs. We use real whole wheat flour as well as real cane sugar and eggs. A lot of people don't have any real ingredients in their cookies anymore, yeah. which is why they taste so bad. So where do you think most uh, cookies come from that you see in a Chinese restaurant? Are they baked there or where are they baked, you know? Most of them are baked in either New York or California. Okay, and then shipped here to the restaurant. Correct, yes. That's right. And the messages are not personal. No, they're okay. not. Now let's, as we're, we'll, we'll, we'll take a, a walk here because I want people to see the process here and if you just joined us you may remember or you may not remember that uh, Aaron was telling me earlier that they've actually had orders for a million, a million cookies. A million cookies. Alright, so what's happening here? Over here we have the batter once it's mixed. Now that's it's what Ryan was working on. Correct, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, once it's mixed, it goes on to the little plates. They actually start as like a flat round pancake. Mm. They go around and bake for about three minutes. Okay, so it, only, it does, it looks just, it, so it comes out just like you were making a pancake. Yes. Yeah. And then as it comes out, there's a arm that grabs it off the plate and the fortune is then inserted as part of the folding process. That is so cool. So let me, so there's the fortune there and it gets stuffed in the cookie and then it gets folded over. Who invented this machine? It's actually a Korean rocket scientist. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. Holy mackerel. That is pretty wild. How many cookies can you make how quickly? Um, in about an hour, you're producing about 1,400 per machine. Okay, so when you made a million, you were working nonstop. We were working nonstop. All right, well, we're gonna do a little bit more about the process and show how they get packed up. Mm -hmm. And we'll do that in the, in the next segment. Uh, Fancy Fortune Cookies, do you guys have a website? We do. Tell us. FancyFortuneCookies.com. And you can inquire about ordering cookies for your party. Absolutely. Or, and if you want a couple of million, no problem. Yeah, and they can come by the bakery for free samples. Terrific. We'll be back. Love like free it. samples. Yeah, we have some here because if you're just waking up with us this morning, Dick sent some fortune cookies our way mm -hmm. for us to open. And we saved some time. We opened these medium sized ones in advance. What'd and, you get? Uh, let's see. Mine says, Your sweet tooth will be a misfortune for your athletic pursuits to go far. Hmm. That's so accurate because I have a sweet tooth. And I just told the folks at Wheeler Mission that I would be, I'd run in the drumstick dash uh -huh. on Thanksgiving Day All with right. them. Uh, so, so you can have a couple extra pieces of pumpkin pie. Afterward, there exactly. <laughs> what and about you? Mine says, Wish TV reporter just stole your lunch from the fridge. Didn't you steal someone's lunch? Or did... Uh, <laughs> hey, we're supposed to keep that quiet. <laughs> Come on now. Actually, oh, yeah, revealing someone, your someone, secrets. Someone has apparently uh, liked my peanut butter and jelly oh, because man. it's been taken a couple times. Check this one out. This is pretty cool. Yeah, these are they cool. come in all different sizes, too. What a neat idea. Awesome. Very cool.